All right, listeners, get ready, because today we're going to dig deep into something huge in the Minecraft world. Definitely big. We're talking worst 7.46 pre-2. Yeah. This update is going to blow your mind. Absolutely game-changing. Especially one feature we've got our eyes on today, Vein Miner. It's a big one. But before we get into that, for those new to the worst client, could you give us a quick rundown? Sure. It's basically a mod, a way to kind of spice up your Minecraft experience. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff from mining super fast to like seeing through walls. Like having x-ray vision, but for blocks. Exactly. So let's talk about this vein miner thing. I'm picturing myself stuck in a mine, pickaxe swinging away. <sighs> so slow right but with vein miner i click once and boom the entire vein is history it's all about speed and efficiency no more wasting time chipping away at individual blocks okay but think about it what happens when everyone's swimming in diamonds could this crash the in-game economy it's definitely a possibility that's one of the big questions surrounding this update actually will we see an influx of super cheap diamond gear will players who like to mine the old-fashioned way need to find new ways to compete. Man, the drama. This isn't just about mining anymore, it's about the whole Minecraft ecosystem. Exactly. Okay, so vein miner isn't just for diamonds, right? What else can you use it on? Pretty much anything. You want to clear out a whole mountain of granite for a mega build, vein miner's got you covered. Hold on, seriously? Yeah, it's all customizable with the multi-ID list. Yeah. You tell it what you want to mine, and it's gone. That's insane. This changes everything. It's a game changer, for sure. All right, so say I'm sold. I want to try this vein miner magic. What are the must-know settings? <laughs> First up, the range slider. Range, huh? Think of it like this. How far out do you want your vein miner to reach? Higher range means you mine more blocks with one click, but... Yeah, but there's always a catch. Well, if you go too high, especially if your computer's not a powerhouse... It'll explode. Not quite explode. Okay, good, because I'm already picturing sparks flying. More like you might experience some lag. Lag the ultimate enemy. So for us folks who might not have the beefiest gaming rigs, can we still get in on the vein miner action without turning our computers into furnaces? Oh, absolutely. That's where the max vein size setting comes in handy. You can actually limit how many blocks vein miner will connect into a single vein. It's perfect for making sure things run smooth, even if you're not working with the latest and greatest hardware. Like a safety net for our poor, overworked CPUs. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> because everyone deserves to experience the joy of efficient mining. Preach. Speaking of which, there's another setting I'm curious about. Check line of sight. What's the deal with that one? Ah, uh, that's for those who like to keep their mining exploits on the down low. You see, in vanilla Minecraft, you can't mine what you can't see, right? Right. Gotta love those pesky laws of physics. Exactly. So this setting basically makes sure vein miner plays by those rules. You'll only mine the blocks you have a direct line of sight to. Sneaky. I like it. So no more accidentally mining into a hidden cave full of creepers because you got a little trigger happy with the vein miner. Precisely. It adds a nice layer of stealth, especially important on servers with those watchful anti-cheat plugins. You know, blend in with the crowd, mine responsibly. Stay stealthy. It's all about flying under the radar. Speaking of anti-cheat systems, the changelog mentioned a complete rebuild of Mob Spawn ESP. What's the story there? Ah, Mob Spawn ESP. Yeah, that's a fan yeah. favorite. It's like having a sixth sense for mob spawns. This rebuild was all about stability. Because who wants to crash right when a creeper decides to say hello? The worst timing. Right. The absolute worst. Yeah, the previous version had a bit of a reputation for crashing, so this update focused on making it much smoother, much more reliable. So no more surprise creeper encounters ending in a game crash. Let's hope not. It should be much smoother sailing now. Music to my ears. <laughs> okay, but it seems like this update wasn't just about making things prettier and more stable. Worst is stepping up its game when it comes to outsmarting those pesky anti-cheat systems too, right? I mean, we've got to talk about the tweaked swing hand setting. That's an important one. You see, a lot of anti-cheat systems are designed to pick up on unnatural player movements. So if my character suddenly turns into a mining machine, ripping through blocks without even swinging their pickaxe, that's going to set off some alarm bells. Exactly. Red flags everywhere. And nobody wants that. Definitely not. That's where swing hand comes in. It basically lets you fine-tune how Worst interacts with the game so that everything looks and feels more natural. So it's all about maintaining the illusion of, shall we say, legitimate gameplay. Precisely. Love it. It's like giving your Minecraft character the ultimate poker face. Exactly. And this isn't just for Vein Miner, right? Nope. This update brings Swing Hand to a whole bunch of features, including Nuker, Nuker Legit, and Speed Nuker. They really thought of everything. So. 
Is it safe to say that Worst is basically handing players the keys to the Minecraft kingdom? I'd say so. It's like they're saying, here are the tools, go forth and create, or maybe go forth and wreak havoc. Hopefully a bit of both. Right. Yeah. Who doesn't love a little creative chaos now and then? It's like, Worst is giving players the ultimate power trip, right? You're not just playing the game anymore, you're bending it to your will. And that's what's so fascinating about this whole scene. It's a constant back and forth, Players push the limits, developers respond, and the cycle continues. A never-ending game of cat and mouse. So for our listeners who are itching to get their hands dirty with Worst 7.46 Pre-2, where should they go to learn more? The Worst Wiki is the place to be. They've got everything you could ever want to know about this update and more. Detailed breakdowns of every feature, explanations of all the settings, you name it. It's a goldmine of information. Okay, you've convinced me. Time to dive into that wiki. You won't regret it. The developers have done an incredible job making it easy to navigate. They even have a whole section dedicated to using Vainminer with a custom multi-ID list. Oh, right. We talked about that earlier. Imagine clearing out an entire forest in seconds. No more tedious tree chopping. Exactly. The possibilities are mind-blowing. And that's what makes this update so special. It's not just about making things easier. It's about empowering players to create and explore in ways they never thought possible. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, folks, there you have it. We've explored the ins and outs of Worst 7.46 Pre-2, uncovered its hidden potential, and maybe even learned a thing or two about the delicate dance between Minecraft hackers and the anti-cheat police. It's been a pleasure as always. The pleasure was all ours. But before we sign off, I have one last question for our listeners. How will you use the power of Vainminer and these other game-changing updates? Will you become a master architect, a mining magnate, or maybe even a stealthy phantom slipping past anti-cheat systems with ease? Head over to the Worst Forums and let us know. We can't wait to hear about all the creative chaos you unleash on the world of Minecraft. Until next time, happy mining.